This month on Thunderstone Wilderness Ventures, we travel to the North Country to the state of Wyoming to shoot a few buffalo. Now I would call this a meat harvest rather than a hunt since we shot our animals on a private ranch. Hunting free roaming bison is a rare opportunity. My goal is to eat high quality protein and know where my meat's coming from. I am also after hides, bones, and sinews to make clothing bags and gear and stuff. I respect these animals and believe in using as much of the critter as possible. All this being said, if you're not okay with the killing and butchering of animals, please pass this on by. The American bison, also known as the buffalo, is North America's largest land animal. Females weighing up to 1,000 pounds, males weighing up to 2,000. When Columbus arrived in the New World, there was believed to be 30 million bison roaming around. When native people got horses, their ability to hunt these herds greatly increased. When the railroad stretched across the American West, men pointed their rifles out the window and shot as many as they could, leaving their carcasses to rot. By the year 1900, there were less than a thousand buffalo alive. Soon great efforts were made to bring them back from the edge of extinction. Today, the population is around a half a million, most of those being on private ranches. In Yellowstone National Park, we have around 5,000. These creatures never left. They are from the original herd. He's like, you guys are getting them. And I was like, dude, it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's very unusual horn structure there. Yeah, and, and it's from that prehistoric. Yeah, they're not even, they don't even sweep back very Which much one are we either. looking at? That that, right this one right here? One? That's a two-year-old. Yeah, he's nice. And now that we're seeing that, we're like, he was like, man, hang Keeps on to it. Genetics, it's yeah. rare. We were hosted by ranch manager Josh Kirk. You might know him from History Channel's Mountain Men. He was there to help us select the right animal to make sure we didn't take a pregnant cow or a bull that cost $25,000. We had to make sure we stayed right next to the vehicle, be alert and ready to jump on in at any point and keep a sidearm handy. The bison may live within a fence, but they are not tame creatures and can run up to 35 miles per hour. Josh told us he had many experiences getting charged and even gored. I shot my big bone beast with a 54 caliber flintlock. This is a muzzle loading black powder rifle that shoots a lead round ball. This style of rifle would have been common for killing buffalo in the 1800s on the Great Plains. This type of ignition, the flintlock, dates all the way back to the 16th century. Yeah, I would have loved to use a bow to shoot my creature, but realistically the poor thing would be walking around with 10 arrows sticking out of her side suffering. After the gun is loaded, you prime the pan with powder, the rock hits metal, causing a spark and kablooey. The time came to load up in the Jeep, go select the right animal, and wait for a clear shot. I had my 270 in the back of the Jeep just in case, and my 9mm on my person in my hunting pouch. Now, due to logistical and technical difficulties, I didn't get much footage of my friends. Christian shot his here with a 4570, and James took three bison with both a muzzle loader and a 308. Like 
I now have a freezer full of burger steaks and roast, a few stinky hides that I plan to brain tan, and I have already rendered down some of the fat to use as lube for my muzzle loader. I would like to say I am grateful that the American bison still lives today on ranches and wild in the wilderness. Grateful for Wyoming. Grateful for this animal's life and meat and that I can share it with my friends and family. I am happy I got my hands dirty dispatching, skinning, and butchering five of these with some friends. I appreciate you watching sincerely. So long and happy trails, my friends.